G'day, how's it going? Saber SG here, and welcome to Eve Online series number 46, first of 2023, the uh, Republic Fleet Fire Tail. And uh, just quickly, one thing that I did learn flying this ship it's got a sick, no, sick radius of 35 meters, so it's nice and small. So, um, getting a nice tight orbit or a good orbit is key to this ship because it's kind of squishy. But uh, yeah, if you're enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is um, it's very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Cheers. Alrighty, so let's check out the scram kiting variant. I've done two fits in this ship: scram kiting variant and also a just a brawler in their face and brawl but this one scram carding uh you know you web dual webs scram afterburner sort of setup um the idea is to keep them at range around seven seven half k or orbit seven seven half k and uh, probably better to orbit them the dual webs will allow you uh, the range control you've got your signature radius which i mentioned earlier 35 meters nice and small so sig tanking is the way to go and the reps help all right, and now the uh, brawling setup, uh, which I think is pretty standard. Set a nice tight orbit of 500. Uh, you've got your auto cannons, you've got a nice scram afterburner, you've got your dual webs, damage control, a gyro, uh, ancillary ammo wrapper, a couple of transverse bulkheads, and a collision accelerator. There we go, that's a fit, and um, yeah, let's get into some fights. Alrighty, so in this fight, I'm in my scram kiting fight up against an Inicus Navy issue, which is pretty cool. And uh, I, you will see that I'm keeping it range around 8,500 uh, with the scram kiter. But in hindsight, I think maybe I, the better option would have been to orbit at around 7k, and I probably would have mitigated a bit more damage that way. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think, whether I'm correct in that assumption or not. Anyway, got image structure, it's a pretty close fight, but um, I'm also very close in burning things out because I'm not paying attention closely enough. And I'm about to lose my scram and my afterburner, which is not good, so I got a little bit lucky there. Good fight. Okay, so in this one, I'm back in my scram kiting um, fire tail again, and I'm jumping in on a succubus, which is kind of crazy, but I have had success against him before uh, with the comet, so I thought, yeah, why the hell not? Anyway, so I jump in the plex, and it turns out that this guy has uh, pulse lasers uh, and conflag, uh, and he does, he's not carrying any other ammo, so it's kind of forced into engaging me at close range. I don't know this, obviously, during the fight. Um, and you can see that uh, the one thing that I am worried about when I'm fighting the such is that he's got uh, his bastard than I am, even though I've got the dual web, which I just burnt one out. Not good. Uh, that he can just dis disengage when he wants. So, you know, sort of swapping from orbiting to flying at him to keeping it range as to where he, what sort of range the fight's happening at. Anyway, his shield reps are holding fairly well. I'm just getting some pretty decent reps, but I am getting him into structure. And um, I managed to turn the heat on the guns off in time. At this point, I'm probably over wrapping a little bit, to be honest. And I nearly got him. And uh, boom. Good fight, mate. Alrighty, so in this one, I'm in my brawling fire tail, and I'm up against a fed comet. Uh, it's actually Frozen Fallout um, from. He's got a Twitch stream called Golden Age Stories. Uh, he's pretty cool, you should go check him out. Anyway, um, I've fought him before, so I know that he loves his scram kiting rail comet, so uh, orbit at 500 is my strategy. 
just to mitigate his damage. Got a few webs so that I can control the range. And uh, yeah, um, tanking it fairly well. And I nearly got him. There we go, boom. Good fight, Frozen. Alright, once again I'm in my brawling uh, fire tail uh, up against the Imicus Navy, which is again very interesting. It's all these cool Navy ships now. Uh, basically I just orbit 500. He's got void uh, blasts in, uh, but a tight orbit helps to mitigate some of that damage. And, uh, pretty damn close. There we go. Boom. Good fight, mate. No, no pineapple on pizza, I agree with that. Right, so I'm back in this Graham Kiting uh, fire tail. And I've jumped in on a breacher. And you've got to be careful of breaches because they're tanky buggers. And um, they, they rip like a bastard, really. But um, you can see that now that I've set up my orbit, uh, my artillery is not tracking. And I've got a feeling in this fight that I rolled uh, a penalty to my tracking, which is a bit of a bugger. So I'm not hitting him, and it takes me a little while to realise what's going on. So he's um, comfortably tanking and uh, repping. So that I decide to straighten out and keep him at range instead and that will allow my artillery volleys to smack him you can see that ball good fight hits hard alrighty so I'm back I'm still in the uh, scram kiting fire tail and I'm up against a fed comet and it's a rail comet uh, which is always going to be a really super hard matchup for the fire tail. Um, yeah, rail comments are really, yeah, really good. But anyway, I've got my orbit going, and um, you know, it's close. It's really close. Um, even though I've got him in structure. Uh, comets typically have bulkhead twos in uh, their really strong hull tanks. So now that I now that I'm hitting structure, it's time to think about getting away because I'm probably going to lose the fight. So here we go. I lined out and time to walk off. I reckon in the end there, I would have died. Good fight. Alrighty, so in this fight I am in a brawling fire tail and an incursus comes in on me, which is uh, pretty surprising. But uh, you do need to be careful of incursus because they're they're pretty damn tanky. They they rep pretty damn hard. And um, so I've got my orbit set at 500 and I'm orbiting him. And um, as you can see, his tank is doing very well. I'm drifting now into his structure, but man, he reps hard. <laughs> He's tanking like a bastard. And um, I am probably over repping here. Anyway, boom. Good fight. Okay, so I'm back in the scram karting fire tail and I am up against a comet once again. And um, man, it's always a tough fight against a rail comet. So this time, rather than orbiting, I've decided to uh, keep him at range and scram kite him that way. But being a rail comet, it's not going to really matter that much. It's just basically going to be a DPS race. 
typically got a very strong hull tank so it's not looking very good for me but it's really really close and it's neck and neck and then boom I'm dead uh, good fight maybe if I had um, orbited uh, things might have gone a bit differently So there you have it, that is the scram kiting fire tail. And uh, I think the most effective way to fly it is uh, to take advantage of its small sick radius and, um, and the brawling uh, fire tail orbit 500 and in the scram kiting fire tail orbit around 7k. In some cases you want to keep it range but I think it's more effective to uh, have a good orbit. But anyway. If you enjoy the content I'm producing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Very much appreciated. And uh, yibbity yibbity, that's all, folks. Catch you in the next video. Cheers.